you may proceed to the next step. Automatic bed calibration. Compensation calibration. Hey there, Mission Control. Well, today is a big day. Um, we just got done with a test print of a full-size uh, grow wall panel, uh, the actual back panel. So I'm gonna try to get it off of the uh, surface here. All right, you can see it in there. See how well it comes off. I think this should come off pretty good, yeah. Because it's so big and it's had a chance to cool down. There we go. Well, let's look at the bottom first. Uh, there's a line right in there. Oh, that's on the other side. So the bottom layer turned out really quite nice. It is a little flimsy though. I think I took a little too much material off of it uh, for what it needs to be. Uh, here on this side, we do still have some problems. So first, this is where filament ran out and then it restarted right here. And that carried through, but we also have some uh, gaps in here and you know honestly I'm thinking that's due to uh, a leveling issue now the reason I say that is look over here everything looks really really good this is how it's supposed to turn out but over here we have separation in addition to that see all those wiggly lines right there uh, everything was nice and straight and then we get these wigglies and that is because too much material is coming out and I think that is probably a leveling issue. So let's go to the other side. Okay, same, same problem, but not as pronounced. A little bit of wiggly right there. You can see nice prints. And then down here, things start to get out of, out of whack. And I think that is gonna be a uh, leveling issue. I'll need to do some research on that. Uh, let's see here, let's see how well the supports come off. Ooh. Those supports are really on there. Let's go to the table. I think we can safely move all of our previous test prints here now. Those out of the way. Oh, we have a big line going right down the middle too. What caused that? I wonder. Okay, that's the support coming off. Yeah, that's a little, a little floppy. Not hugely excited about how floppy that ended up being. Boeing now that it's off and cooling down. I should probably let it cool on the bed. Or do we have separation there? We do. We have second layer separation, so that is a leveling issue. Yeah, we got a bubble showing up in there. So that second layer is popping off of the first. So I think we have a level and extrusion height, maybe a combined problem there. Well, that might explain, if it's separating, that might explain why it's so flimsy. But it's flimsy probably because the layers are not bonded to each other. There we go. These are the supports. This is supposed to come off. So the support printed all right. The holes underneath of it did not, and I think this is a detail issue. So we have some nice back and forth here. This is fine, but these holes and the uh, accuracy going up to them is not okay. Uh, those are, that's totally not gonna work. We have holes up here and the accuracy around them looks a little subpar as well. So what this is telling me anyway, not that I'm an expert, but I'm learning quickly is that I think this nozzle size that I chose, the point or the one millimeter nozzle size is simply too large for the accuracy that I need. So we need to drop it back down. And if we drop it down, then I think this layer height will probably be fine, but the fact that it didn't adhere is problematic. A change of the nozzle down to, uh, we'll go down to 0.8 and then we will re-level the bed as well is what we need to do and then get another print going. A successful failure, you might say. Remember when we first started, we couldn't even make it this far and now we're here, right? We went through all these, these tests uh, and finally got to a really, really nice test piece. It came out just really super nice. It's the same thickness as this. This one is a lot harder. Everything bonded to it correctly. Um, so it, it's, it's hard. This one is, 
it's a lot bigger, so it's easy for me to do this. But if we get down into smaller areas here, it's still way more flexible than this one is. This was our test piece. It turned out really just how we wanted it. So now I think we have a, a problem here with this model, maybe with the model. Uh, definitely we have some nozzle and leveling issues that we need to address. So let's uh, change out the nozzle and uh, re-level the bed. Boy, closer. We're getting closer. Frustrating, but closer. Oh, man. Tired. Going through the process right now, the macro known as tilt calibration. What you do is you put the little wrench that came with it, little wrench that came with it, right underneath of the print head, and then you adjust that. You adjust the height, the z-axis manually. It goes around each corner and does this. So it starts off in the middle, then it goes to the front left. Oh, why'd it do that? Oh, it can't go back further. So we did have a crooked bed. It hit the, hit the bed there. A little cattywampus it was. So found that it was definitely not level, which I had my level on, my bubble level on it, and definitely found it wasn't level front to back but it just confirmed it. That's definitely a problem. So I'm gonna start this calibration process over. All right, these back ones, kind of like brushing your teeth, you know, they're a little hard to get to. I know I'm gonna crack my head again. Oh, crack my knee. Just doesn't wanna go underneath of that one. A little bit further. You may proceed to the next step, which is automatic bed compensation calibration. You may proceed to the next step. Automatic bed calibration. Compensation calibration. Here we are at Master Control. What movie is that from? Y'all should know that. Machine control, bed compensation. All right, so now what's happening? Uh, you can do this uh, command from the web interface. Uh, which you don't need the internet to use, or you can do it from the control panel directly on uh, the unit itself. I just chose to do it over here this time, kind of made for a cooler shot. Uh, let me go show you what it's doing right now. So here you can see it. What it's doing is it's using the Z probe, which is where that red light turns on, and that turns off because the probe extended. And then the bed, the Z axis is coming up and down, or going up and down. It's coming up to it right now. It touches the probe. Now it knows where that section of the bed is at. And you would want to do this for your different temperatures. Now, when we first calibrated this, it was calibrated to 65 Celsius on that bed. But if you've been following along, you know that that particular temperature was a little too hot and we we're getting too much adhesion uh, on the bed. So what I did is I dropped it down to 58 Celsius uh, and it seems to be working better. So now it's going to do all these little steps all the way around the bed. Uh, it's, it's like 200 data points that it's collecting so that it knows the compensation for when it gets warm uh, as well as any deficiencies in the, in the bed level which when you saw that print that came out it looked like we had you know a, a, an issue with that front right and the front left and sure enough the bubble said that the front right was down too low uh, and the front left was just a little too low uh, and on the diagonal it was a little too low on the corner, so I think we found our problem. Uh, we'll get through this compensation, look at the, the map uh, that it creates, and we'll, we'll go from there. This particular part of this operation uh, with the 3D printer is the worst part, because I just have to sit here. I can't really go do a whole bunch of things, um, because if something goes wrong, I won't, I won't know it until I come in to check. So then you have to come in and check like every five minutes. Well, it takes like two minutes to walk out to the site, another two minutes to walk back. Uh, you know, <laughs> just walking back and forth, getting get lots of steps in on your Fitbit, but uh, not really getting any work done. So it's frustrating, uh, but necessary. You know, you gotta calibrate your tools. They have to be calibrated. If they're not, they don't work and you get mistakes like this. But you know, again, we started off with a horrible messy nastiness and now we're up to, you know, an actual grow wall came out of this. Uh, you know, it, it's not perfect, but we're getting there. 
So luckily, uh, not only is Hal out here, Hal needs some speakers. So I got some speakers coming so I can listen Hal, and this can go back out to the site. Um, but I can sit here, I can watch YouTube like everybody else and uh, see what's happening out in the world. Nothing good, nothing good. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. There's actually some pretty good stuff happening where uh, with this coronavirus, you know, com companies are just really stepping up to the plate, uh, making face mask protective equipment. Uh, communities are stepping up. I know for us, we're talking about our community and how to help each other, uh, our local community here, our neighbors. Uh, and, you know, that's really cool seeing that. So there are good things happening out there, but then there's just the world. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Uh, so... I'm going to search the web, see what's out there. And that thing is done with two of its passes now. As you can see that there, this is the heat, or uh, the distance map. This is the result of all the probe um, points that it takes. Here's the top view. I think this is the back far right corner, front left. This is where we had the issue on that print. And it looks like it still has quite a bit of issue over on that side compared to this side. Um, now these distances here, this is extremely exaggerated. These distances are a quarter of a millimeter, roughly, uh, right in there, a little bit. Uh, well, it looks like one, one of them is negative 1.03. Must be down here at the very bottom, yeah. And then this one up the top. And it says, that it doesn't want to see the difference between the lowest and the highest point is more than one millimeter. The bed needs to be re-leveled. So it looks like we have a problem there because we're about 1.4 millimeters off. We're on the trail of what is causing our problem. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's pretty though. All right, well, it just got done doing the next calibration. Oh, sorry, I hit the mic there. Let's check out the height map. Well, that looks worse. All right, the third try is the charm. That's the old one. Let's refresh it. Setting, system editor, height map. What? It went backwards. Went backwards. What is going on? Why are you doing this to me? We went, we did better on one side, but worse on the other. What is going on? This is a super important part because as you've seen in this print, a little bit off can make a big difference. Now, I think we're better than what we were before, just for the record, and I, stupidly did not check should have checked should have checked the height map okay check your height map before you actually do this record see take a snapshot of your previous your baseline height map once you do this once keep that and compare everything to it made a huge mistake okay all right well we're gonna have to go back to the drawing board here and figure out what the heck i'm doing wrong so i decided to Go back to the drawing board here and and level it just using the level to start with. And sure enough, this corner over here was very, very high. So I adjusted it manually. It's level left to right. Level left to right. That's level. That's level. There is a seam here that you can adjust. It has an adjustment for this seam. And what I did is I put the uh, straight edge on it and you go through and you make sure that that edge is straight all the way. And it appears that it is. You put the level over here. And it looks like maybe I can go down just a skosh. That looks good. I mean, we are really, really dialing this thing in, but it has to be accurate. Let's put the big one on. Get the 
the big kahuna here. Go left to right. Ooh, that's hard to see. That's a dirty level. Dirty level. That is right on. Right on, right on. Anything, that edge can go up a little bit. Which means that back could come down a little bit. How do we look here? Man, that's so close. You know, we're gonna run the tilt calibration macro again. And uh, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna, yeah, you kind of have to do that tilt calibration thing because I adjusted it. So you have to do the tilt again. So tilt calibration, my little part. There's my little part. So we're getting closer, getting a lot closer. Uh, this is so important. And now having gone through this and recognizing how important it is, definitely not something I want to, you know, take lightly when we're burning through almost a kilogram worth of uh, filament when we print one of these walls. So, you know, making mistakes is, is expensive. And with the virus out there right now, ordering supplies is really difficult. Okay, dokie, number four. Here's our screenshot. What the freak? Oy. Now it's saying that back edge is way down. You know what? I'm stopping today. It is six o'clock, 6.30 at night. I've been doing this for quite a few hours and I am gonna take a break. I'm gonna go have dinner, have a drink, and I'm gonna come out here tomorrow. I'm gonna do it all again.